Oh, welcome, Wolf of Warfets. We are back with Days Gone on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And what we're going to be doing today is we are now down in the southern region. Now, uh, I and Mike helped us get here because we've come here to try and find out once again what happened to Sarah. Now, uh, we've just arrived at this camp near Diamond Lake. It's called the Diamond Lake Militia Encampment. And we've met someone called Captain Curry, who is gonna who is gonna pretty much recruit us. And then if we uh, play our cards right, we do our job, then he's gonna take me to the, the main boss, the Colonel, I think he said, who is over here at this big, big camp. And then he's gonna swear me in and I'm gonna be a member of the army. Now, the reason why I've enlisted into the army is because we just got here after helping out some dudes who were getting attacked by a rager. And Captain Curry was wearing my ring, the same ring that I gave to Sarah. So uh, we've enlisted ourselves because obviously Deacon wants to just do some snooping around and find out what the hell is going on. You know, how the hell does Captain Curry have the ring that we gave to our wife? So yeah, we've enlisted into the army. We're walking around at the moment, introducing ourselves and stuff and asking people if they know Sarah and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get on with it. Now uh, we've got to go around and see if Sarah is here. And uh, once that's done, I think we've got to go and do a mission with Captain Curry where we need to go and deal with someone who's, I think he might have gone AWOL and ditched the army or he might have attacked another member or something. I don't know. But yeah. Not here. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't it make more sense to ask Captain Curry about the woman? Like, Captain Curry is wearing the ring that you gave to your wife and you're not asking him about the woman. That, that, that seems like a very stupid idea, doesn't it? It's literally the only person that could have any sort of idea where your wife is and you're not asking him. You're asking some random weird dodgy dude who took the piss out of your name and said he'd tap your wife and you're also snooping around the tents. <laughs> the infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? I don't know. She's not here either. I don't, I don't, oh, well, fucking hell, mate. You, you had a rough time, didn't you? You spilt, you spilt ketchup all over your leg. Man, if I, if I spilt ketchup on my leg, I think I'd be like that too, because I don't want to touch that. Ketchup is dirty. Ketchup is nasty. If you like ketchup, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. I mean, I should like ketchup. What is it? It's practically like fucking vinegar and tomatoes, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I, I liked it when I was a kid, I think, but I don't like it anymore. It's horrible. Nasty. I'm not a fan of anything tomatoey, really. Although I do eat pizza. Before I become a vegetarian, I had spaghetti bolognese, so, eh, I don't know. Not the worst thing in the world, but, eh, I don't know. I don't know. HP sauce is where it's at. HP sauce is number one. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? Shit, not here. Oh, God nope. damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but... Right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. Not could it? St. John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. On my way. I'm already at the gate. <laughs> Meet me at the gate. I'm standing right here, you git. Oh, flipping hell. I was going to say something. Well, I can't even remember what I was going to say now. I don't think, I, I was going to say something. I can't remember what it was now. Right, let's hop on our bike. And let's have a chat with our uh, Captain Curry and see what we're going to do. Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Open it up! I was in a motorbike gang, you twit. Of course I can keep up. Why does everyone drive um, motorbikes in this game? Why is it nobody what the uses hell cars? Back there? I mean, it looks like a forest fire, but the stumps are charred. So that means that means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades, then burn the slash. In the outpost. We can see a horde coming long before it reaches us. What? Burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep. You know you're freaks, huh? 
Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? A war? We've been out in this shit. We've seen the hordes. The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our army. It's gonna take way more than an army. We have a plan. The Colonel lets you join. Silver Lake. You asked about survivors. Are you looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look, there were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. Oh, we come back to the camp. Hey, Corporal. The captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh... Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is uh, Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. God. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on. Right. I look at okay, I think they're going to talk quite a bit during this bit. There's going to be loads of like little bits of talking and stuff, you know. And I'm not going to stay silent the whole time, so I'll just talk over them. They're not really saying anything too important. But yeah, we're looking for someone called Fasquez or something. What is it? Isn't, it, isn't there someone called... Uh, I don't know if that was the name that he just said. I might be getting that name completely wrong. And I'm prob probably butchering the name. But I think he said Fasquez. But ain't there someone in um, in Aliens 2 called Fasquez, in it? Oh, look. Oh, look, we just got the Rager here. Why didn't you pick that up earlier? That's going to get me a lot of reputation and money, Deacon, you twit. I'm just looking if there's any... Ah, here we go. Yeah, I was just looking around for any supplies and that, because I, I do want to try and get as much kerosene as possible, because, like I said, there's a lot of nests in this area. We did clear a bunch of the stuff up in the north. You can't really see up there now, because it's... Uh, well, the, only, the only thing left is like that bit there, but we did clear most of the crap up in the uh, northern area. But the southern area is completely chock-a-block with just... Fucking nests and... Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible, Dan. You hate it. But yeah, it'd be nice to get some kerosene so I can burn them all. Also, we can't fast travel if we don't deal with the nests. So we're going to need a bit of kerosene. Oh, what's that? Is that a dog toy? I can use this. It is a dog toy. What's that for? <laughs> what are we supposed to use the dog toy for? Oh, here we go. Was that MREs? You, uh... <clears throat> you said he stole rations, ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. I'll tell you, I flip in. I have tasted an MRE before. I can't remember where it was. I don't know if it was something to do with a school trip to like a, like a, um, Oh, like a, a war museum type thing. I remember eating an MRE once. I, I didn't really eat much of it because I'm very, very fussy. And the MRE I got was dog shit. You know, everything in there. Even if I was starving, I don't think I'd eat it. But I did try it. It was like, like crackers or something. I don't know. They, they were like, you know, you know, Jacob's crackers. Uh, if you're not from England, I don't know. I don't know where they sell these, where they're available. But Jacob's Wait, crackers, uh, they're, they're very like buttery and they're like more savoury. But it was like that, but filled with sugar. It was very weird, but... They were quite damn nice, actually. Bit weird. Like, it, it sort of, like, confused your mouth when you ate them, you know? Sort of like, I don't know, if you bit into an apple and you right. tasted chocolate, you know? So it'd, be, it'd, like, confuse your brain, even if it tastes nice. It's sort of that kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, I had some of them. They were pretty damn good, but... 
MRAs are great, isn't they? I like watching uh, Crazy Russian Hacker. If you guys and girls haven't watched Crazy Russian Hacker before, I definitely recommend it. You know, he's a massive channel. But I have never seen someone on this bloody website that is as big, uh, big of a channel as he is and still a decent, humble guy. You know, you look at a lot of these big channels and they're so, so up their own arse, you know, they really piss me off. But you watch Crazy Russian Hacker and you, he's like the same now as he was when he had like barely any subs, you know. I remember another channel we had. He used to have an origami channel. I don't know if he's still got it or not, but he used to like do origami and that. I think, it, I think he had an origami channel. It might have been someone else. I think it was him. Because I think that might have been where I first saw him. I didn't watch him. And then, he had, and then I remember watching him do some slow motion stuff. I don't know. I might be confusing him with someone else. But I think he had a slow... Like a... Oh, crap. Depends. Oh, that was easy. Oh, shit. Hang on a minute. There's red on him. Oh! Oh no! No, don't! I don't want to shoot you! I love you! Oh no! I really don't like shooting wolves. It just doesn't seem. Oh fuck, they're gonna kill Curry at this rate. It doesn't feel right to be shooting wolves, does it? Me of all people, you know? Me of all people. It just isn't right, you know? I'd never hurt any animals, you know? I'd never hurt any animals. I'll tell you, like. like I probably shouldn't start talking about stuff like this now because I think um, there might be a cutscene in a minute. I'll start. I'll start mentioning it. But like, I have got myself in some pretty bad situations before because of my uh, love of animals. Like one thing I will always remember is there was a. Um, I was at. I think I might have been about. I don't know. I might have been about eight eight years old at the time. But I was. I think I was about eight years old. It was when I first started going out on my own and stuff. As long as I stayed near to the house and things like that, you know. And I was out on my own. I was walking back from my friend's house, who lived pretty close to me. And uh, I saw this dude. He had like a. It looked like it looked like a staff, but it was a very weird staff. I've never seen a dog like this. It was probably some sort of mongrel. But uh, there was this like staff. And this dude, I don't know if the dog had done something wrong or whatever, but he he, he had a lead, you know those chain leads that you can get, like the, 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 the normal chain lead. And he started whacking this dog, he had it like rolled up, you know, like double wrapped around his hand. And he was beating a dog, and he was going ham on this dog, and I fucking lost it. Like, the, the abuse I shared him, obviously I couldn't fight him because I was eight, and this was like a, this was a big bloke, he was like, probably in his 30s, you know, he was a big man, he would have kicked my ass. But, you know, I fucking lost it. I couldn't hold my tongue. I lost it. I just wanted to... Oh, I wanted to fuck him up, you know? But, yeah. I, he, luckily, he didn't do anything. He just... I, I think he just... He, he just threw a load of abuse at me, but... I was fuming, you know? But I just... I should have... I should have fucked him up. I should have tried to fuck him up. Imagine eight-year-old B-Wolf, you know, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with, like, some 30-year-old big man. Especially if I won. I mean, if you're hitting a dog, you're clearly a pussy. So, I, mean, I, I might have beat him. Yeah, I remember that very clearly. I just, I, I can't, I can't deal, I can't deal with people treating animals badly. I can't deal with it, Wolf and Wolfers, you know? Everyone has their thing that they can't deal with, and that's my thing, you know? People that treat women badly, like, abusive, and animals, nah, I can't deal with that. Sorry I'm talking over Deacon and Curry, they just talk a lot, and a lot of it isn't really important, you know? I think there's going to be a cutscene now, though, if I remember correctly, so, uh, I'll stop talking about scummy people, but yeah. I just remember it. it it's just funny. I, I can hear my voice right now because I'm eight years old. I've got a squeakier voice, you know. I'm swearing at this man, you know, a man that would probably step on me and kill me. And back then, my asthma was really bad, you know, like even worse than it is now. And uh, I was really skinny. I didn't eat very much. I'm just like puny. I wasn't as tall as... I'm six foot one now, but I wasn't that tall back then. I was like fucking puny. A skinny, puny, weedy little boy is going fucking ham at this man who could just brutalise me, you know, because I just... Uh, just, just, just leave the animals alone. Come on, don't hit your dog. Like, if a dog's naughty, yeah, no. If you've got to give it a slap, give it a tap on the butt. You know, even that ain't necessary, but give it a slap on the butt. You know, like, oi, bad dog. You know, or give them a tap on the nose if they're doing something really bad. And then, yeah, they'll know. You, 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 don't, you don't do that to a dog. Oh my God, what is that? Holy fuck! Let's go around. No, fuck that. No, I'm going to shoot. Hey, look, I can. Hey, should I shoot them? No, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to. No, nah, I'm not going to do it. He's going to give me a mission foul if I do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna use a bandage, though, because um, just in case shit does go down. 
I'll tell you, that is actually a pretty small... Like, you look at that and you probably think that's big. That is actually a pretty small hold. But yeah, the uh, holds in this game, if you are uh, if you want to if you want to get like a taster of the holds, make sure you do it up in the north region because all of the uh, all of the um, the hold groups up in the north in this game are very small, except for the sawmill. The sawmill is an absolute nightmare. It's probably the biggest in the game. So uh, make sure you um, make sure you don't go near the sawmill when you're a low level character. But yeah, the other holds, you could probably deal with them and you can get a taste for the kinds of combats that you need to do and stuff like that, you know. It's like, it's like a nice little intro, you know. You can learn about setting up, like, remote explosives. You can learn about, like, you know, trying to escort the um, hold through, like, little nooks and crannies, you know. Like, make them go through small gaps so they pile up on each other. And you can, like, drill them down, you know, stuff like that. You can also learn about using barrels to your advantage. You know, the holds in this game are... To me, they're not actually that difficult. I was a little bit disappointed with how simple they were, but some of the bigger ones, they are a bit of a bad, fucking badass battle, you know, especially on a harder difficulty. Even on normal, they're a bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> but yeah, you will be seeing a lot of the holds, especially in the southern region. You'll see a lot of the holds when we get near the end of the game. We do have to battle quite a few of them. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking him? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, then he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The colonel will fill you in, if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't really give a damn either way. That's true. I don't even want to join the army. I already did my time in Afghanistan. The only reason why I'm uh, the only reason why I'm doing this right now is because I'm trying to find information about Sarah. Isn't it stupid though? It ain't it stupid? Like literally, the man wearing the ring that you gave to your wife and you haven't told him about her. I don't understand why. Like why? <laughs> it's just so stupid, isn't it? This is the first like hint of anything involving our wife that we've seen, and you're not saying a word. It really annoys me. This bit. It actually pisses me off. It's like you don't want to find your wife. Ah. Oh, okay, we're nearly there now. We're going to be doing a yeah, battle now. coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Oh, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. Well, let me get my gun out for some reason. What would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. Ah, so he did go AWOL. Okay, so I think I mentioned that. Was it in this video or the last video? I think I said that the person we're hunting down is somebody who just went AWOL and we have to go and get him. Okay, right. So, uh, I was correct then. This is more like a bounty mission, really. It's just similar to the bounty hunting missions. But we're doing it just to prove ourselves to Kuri. Why don't let me get my gun out? I feel very vulnerable when all my guns have got padlocks on them, you know? <laughs> very vulnerable. Oh, yeah, they all are, innit? See your man? Yeah. That's him. Well, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! What do you think? Oh, we'll see about that. Oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> You see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want.
Uh, I get. We already knew that Deacon was gonna get angry. You know, when, whenever somebody treats a woman bad, you know, Deacon gets really pissy. <laughs> He gets so angry, doesn't he? Like, obviously, yeah, you know, most men want to look after women, you know. Some men are just fucking absolute white knights, you know, where some women do deserve to be complained about. Obviously not hit them. I'm not saying you should hit them. I'm saying, like, some people will white knight women all the time. Always think they do no wrong. That pisses me off. But, yeah, other than that, you know, all men want to look after the ladies. How many we got to do? 15 marauders. Fucking hell. Is Curry going to help me? Oh, shit, you see that? He just jumped over my bullets. Yeah, we just shoot him in the dick. Right, if I remember correctly, I think I went round this way. Because I think there's a group of people I snuck up on. Because I think Curry goes a different way. And then they all start trying to shoot him and then I end up going behind. Look at them all, fucking hell. I look forward to being able to get the other gun. Like this, this is a very nice machine gun, but the one that I'm going to get when I get near to the end of the game, or when I go to the next camp where the colonel is, that's the uh, that's the gun I use for the rest of the game. It's a beautiful gun. It looks a bit like um, you know a Tommy gun. You know the Tommy guns that they use here, like the Mafia use. It looks like one of those. It's very nice. I'm not doing very good with the aiming. Also, these characters have turned into oh, fuck. These characters have turned into Neo. I'm, I'm aiming like an absolute prat. I do apologise. Oh! Oh shit, where is he? Oh, how'd you like that, you cock? I think I might have accidentally just used my medikit when I didn't need to. I don't like doing that. Why don't you go away? Oh shit! Oh, no, it's Curry. <laughs> Why has he come this way? Last time he went a different way and helped me out a bit. How do you survive several shots? Jesus. Let's get me machine gun back out. Pop him in the face. Nope, I missed. <laughs> I think I shot him in the throat. Now, could you imagine if they do release a sequel to this? Like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, you'll have to judge it from yourself when you get to the ending of this game. I'm not sure if it's left open for a sequel or not. Oops. But um, imagine the amount of freakers that we're going to have to fight, like in the PlayStation 5 version. Could you imagine the amount of freakers they'll put in? I mean, if they've managed to put in like a thousand or so freakers in in this version, imagine what they do on the PS5. Oh, you'd be able to fight, like, probably 10,000 or something. Could you imagine that? That'd be insane, wouldn't it? That'd be brilliant. I'd love that. Okay, let's pick up any loot quickly. Have you noticed that when you kill them, they get all snow over their bodies? I mean, I'm not sure why it's going, like, why it's happening at the moment, because it's not currently snowing. But when you kill people in, like, areas where it's snowing, they fall on the floor and they get covered in snow. Little effects like that, little details like that are what make me want to give the game a 10 out of 10, you know? But then, obviously, at the moment, it's not actually snowing. So when you shoot someone and they fall on the floor and they look like it's snowed on them, that's when it's a bit like... Like, like look, see? Like, it hasn't snowed, but look at him. This... I don't know. Like, at least when they're on the snow, you can be like, oh, you know, they just got snow over themselves. But when they're up there, very clearly it hasn't snowed, but you're covered in snow. Like, that's annoying, but the effect is still there, and I love it. It's very nice. Right, let's go rescue this girl. Here, stand guard in case we missed anyone. You can handle him. He won't know what hit him. <laughs> Hey, whoa, 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 easy, easy, I'm not gonna, I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. Stay the hell away from me! Jesus! Well, he ain't gonna be having kids anymore, is he? Fucking hell! Oh, like, what was he trying to do? Like, was he like trying to, uh, was he trying to like bang her or something in here? I thought he was just taking her in here because she was, like, he was, I don't even know. 
Fucking hell, I guess he did try something if she's stabbing him in the dick, you know, because there's no other reason to be that violent with somebody's balls unless they've tried doing something like that. Fuck, we can imagine that. That would be the worst way to go. I can, I can actually feel the pain in my balls right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, nah. Nah, fucking hell. What'd you do that for, Sony Bend? You know that a lot of men are going to be playing this game. <laughs> What'd you do that for? God, that's the equivalent of there being a scene of like, I don't know, somebody putting a, I don't know, something up a woman's vagina, you know, and just ramming it up there or something and like switching on a, I don't know, a chainsaw or something, you know, that's the equivalent of that. Whew. Man, I feel like I won't have kids ever again after watching that. What the hell was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. <laughs> Vasquez, done. Way done. Captain Corey? <laughs> Way done. This is Corey. We're here, heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been uh, uh, neutralized. Uh, hold your position. No, no, they've not Hurry been up. neutralized. Come on. They've been neuterized. <laughs> We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. Oh, you ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? So, St. John, where did you serve? Before the ship went down. Did you know what an MRE looks like? You know how to recon an enemy position. You know, cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? Alright. It's uh, going to be a bit shorter, but if I remember correctly, after we start travelling with Curry, I think we might get another one of those cutscene... Ah, fucking, fucking shoulder needs to stop clicking. Um... I think there's going to be another like flashback scene where we start thinking about Sarah and I think it's another longish cutscene and I ain't going to have time to do that and if I do that I'm not going to be able to make a third video today. So I'm going to end it a little bit shorter today so I apologise but it's only about three minutes but you know I apologise anyway. But thanks for watching Waffle Bits. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry for talking so much. Sorry for talking over the characters. It's just they talk so much in this game and I don't want to, well, I've said it a million times, I don't want to seem like a lazy YouTuber you know. I'm, I'm only playing a video game you know. It's not like the hardest content in the world so for the few things I am doing like commentating editing the stuff you know I want to make sure I do it sublimely you know and I don't want to seem like a lazy turd you know ah oh. but anyway thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video anyway next time we're going to head to the main camp we're going to talk to the colonel probably get promoted to alpha legend badass deacon mode you know and then yeah but yeah thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video like share and join a pack today oh